Two months ago, we were blessed by the theatre gods as we were delivered the Hamilton Pro Shot. And a lot of people got to watch the show for the very first time and also suffered the pain of realising that Dear Theodosia does not lead straight into non-stop. Poor Lawrence. But another big theatre moment that took everyone by surprise was the ending of the show. Specifically, Eliza's gasp. And I originally wanted to talk about the meaning behind it and like give a definite reason, but after kind of thinking about that and reading up and researching, I kind of realised that there wasn't really a set answer and that every single Eliza gasp is kind of different. So instead, I decided to go back to the roots of my channel and analyse a variety of Eliza gasps, just like I did with every Jenna and She Used To Be Mine and find out what makes them such good performances. But you're new to this channel. Hi, I'm Daniel. I talk about theatre. If you want to hear someone talk about theatre, uh, here I am. I do weekly musical theatre videos. So make sure you hit like and maybe hit subscribe. It makes me feel appreciated. But, on to the video. So, unlike with my Jenners, I didn't really have a strong list of actresses who have played Eliza. So, I'm literally just going off a video that I found. I've completely forgotten what their YouTube username is, but the YouTube username is right on screen right now. Wow, thank you this YouTuber right here for editing together these Elizas. And so I'm just going from their Elizas. So the Elizas which I'm analysing today are... Philippa Sue, Ari Asfar, Lexi Lawson, Rachel Lango, Sonia Pfeiffer, Danae Benton, Sharon Rose. Now, there are definitely going to be actresses and understudies that I've missed. So if you know somebody, an actress that I have missed off, uh, can you please write their name in the comments and show them some love? And I think it's important to mention, because I'm going off bootlegs for a lot of these, this is all live performance. Live performance is different every night. This might be a recording of a really bad night. This might be a recording of a really good night. So I will keep that in mind as I'm going through and analysing every performance. But let's start with Philippa Sue. Her gasp is so beautiful, we all know it. The way you see the shock overcome her in the first few seconds. Her arms fly up to clutch at her chest. But I think my favourite part about Philippa Sue's gasp is what she does as the lights start to come down. Her face completely softens. There's many different ways that this could be interpreted. This could be her going from living to dead. Or it could be the quiet after the storm. She sees everything and finds it really hard to take it in. But then after she realises that she's done what she set out to achieve, she finds her peace. And I'm not going to do this for every single Eliza, but I just wanted to show that you can take these in many different ways. Philippa Sue really defines this moment. As the first Eliza, she really takes those few seconds to really take you through every mixed emotion and the beauty of this moment. Next up, and I'm really scared I'm going to be saying this wrong, Ari Ashfar. I'm really sorry if I said your name wrong. I don't have any, like, I don't have any, like, way to know that I'm doing it right. I, I'm, I'm so sorry. What I love about Ari's Eliza is that she's so sweet. Even when she's discussing the orphanage, you want to give her a hug. And then even in those moments of pain, she has this really wide smile on her face. As she walks forward again, her eye line starts high. A mixture of confusion and a smile on her face. And when she sees it, it's so interesting to see the exact moment her face morphs into pure joy. This is such a different take on it than Sue. But it's just as moving. It's so much softer. Her Eliza is so pure and there's so much beauty in this little moment. And it's so rewarding to see her finally take in the legacy that she built for all the people around her. Next is Lexi Lawson. Lawson is very emotional. She is close to tears and really struggling to get through the orphanage section. This is another really valid, really great way to get across Eliza's doubts and Eliza's fears that she hasn't done enough. And because of this, it's again really satisfying to see her reunited with Alexander. She then looks out, she's very stern-faced. And it's really lovely to see the process of this emotion, this sternness, kind of break. As she slowly smiles and lets up both of her arms and gasps. Lawson's moment finally feels like peace at last. I think the way she saves her big smile right until the very end is what makes this really effective. 
another name that there's two pronunciations of that I don't know which way. Is it is it Rachel Ango or Raquel Ango? I really get that sense of mixed emotion from Ango's performance. She tries to crack a smile when talking about the orphanage, but ultimately goes back to a sadder expression. Something I noticed from Ango's performance that I didn't really notice for any of the other like. Hmm. Something that I really noticed with Ango's performance that I didn't really notice for any. Ah! Something that I noticed with Ango's performance that I didn't really notice for any other Eliza's is that when she walks around and sees Hamilton, she's the first one to reach out her arms and she goes both arms straight out to grab his, whereas every other Eliza waits until Hamilton lets out his hand or they do it at the same time. Ango really makes a strong moment of that reaching out for him like she's almost desperate to see him. Like I, I really do like that interpretation. Then her gasp. For lack of a better term, it's the least gaspy out of all of the gasps. But it's just as effective. There's a strong moment of hesitation as she's walking towards the front. And then when she looks up, she very quickly changes her emotion. She kind of leans forward a little bit and thrusts her arms up with this massive, joyous smile on her face. Staging-wise, Ango is definitely the most different, but oh, it's so powerful. So, so Leah Pfeiffer? I know it's Fe Pfeiffer, right? S so Leah? Pfeiffer's final moments are very interesting because she is so still. As she's talking about the orphanage, it feels like she's not talking generally to everyone, to an audience, like some other Eliza's are. It feels like she's very much talking to a single person. Maybe this could be Hamilton. Maybe she's talking to herself. Maybe she's, you know, internalizing all of it. And when she kind of meets back up with Hamilton, there is so much intimacy between the two of them. She looks at him to the very last second she can. And it's really nice to see her smile here because she she is another one that's quite still, quite stern faced. But when she sees Hamilton again, she is grinning. She's so happy. And it's, it's so lovely in all of these to see the transition between being without Hamilton and with Hamilton. Her gasp is also quite small. As she's walking to the front of the stage, she's taking very, very small steps. She is definitely the most hesitant. She spent all this time looking at Hamilton and doesn't want to be away from Hamilton. And she's almost scared to walk forward and see what else is there and what Hamilton's trying to show her. That's a small little touch that I just love. Now, I will say about her gasp, though, that it's a very small reaction. Maybe it's just the way from the bootlegs filmed. I feel like it's a little bit too small for being on stage. I don't think of a, I, if I was sitting right at the back of the house, I don't think I would probably get that gasp as emotionally as some of the other ones. But it's such a small nitpicky thing and I still very much love her overall interpretation of it. Danae Benton. Sadly, the video for Danae wasn't as good as some of the other ones. And it's such a shame because I love Danae Benton as an actress. She is amazing. What really hits me emotionally with Danae is the mix of how she's physically choking back her tears and her beautiful vocals. Another small little touch that she, she kind of twists with the staging is when she notices Hamilton's kind of spirit past her, she really grins and really smiles. Like, she already knows that it's Hamilton coming up behind her. It's such a beautiful little touch. And I'm just like, yes, yes, of course she realised it was Hamilton. Of course she would smile. Of course she'd feel relief. Like, oh, it's so clever. I didn't even think about it. She kind of gasps and then goes forward a little bit more. I, I do like to interpret her gasp most with the kind of theory that Eliza seen the audience. I, I am a big fan of the theory that Eliza sees the audience. I feel like this Eliza interprets that for me personally. Might not be her intention, but that's what I personally feel. And I love Danae Benton. Danae Benton, you could be in anything and I, I would stand. And finally, Sharon Rose. Rose uses her hands quite a bit, which I stand as a fellow person who uses their hands to speak so much, to the dismay of my autofocus. I love her when my time is up section. There's so much raw emotion in her eyes as she clutches her hands together, almost like she's praying desperately that she has given Alexander his legacy. And then there's her gasp, because she starts like that and then she reaches out her hand and stretches and steps forward and she gasps as she's staring intensely at this one little point in the audience that she's reaching out to. 
and tears in her eyes and tears in my eyes. This this one, this one broke me because I really shouldn't have watched these all in a row. I became emotionally numb. <laughs> so that is just seven out of so many wonderful actresses to play Eliza. But what have we learnt? Now that I've actually like properly taken the time to go through every single one, I really do appreciate what Limo Miranda, Tom Cale and Philippa Sue all said when they kept getting hammered in interviews to tell what this moment means. No actress played this the same way. An audience member can see it one way if they see a specific Eliza, but if they then go away and watch the pro shot, they get a different interpretation. If they go watch Dene Benton, they get a different interpretation. It's, it's all so different and changing every time. It's so, it's so beautiful. They're all so varied and I love little things out of each of them that I can't possibly pick a couple that stand out. It's just the beauty of it, isn't it? I, I, I sit here and I'm just kind of, I'm kind of amazed that we have so many different interpretations of this one moment and so many different ways that Eliza can tell her story. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please consider hitting like and maybe subscribing. I make great news compared to content every single week. On screen right now are some links to some of my other videos. But that's it from me today. I'll hopefully see you next time. Bye!